Today we're going back to the 80s. Ow. Let's party. Welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're traveling back in time with a few of my friends to the 80s. You may recognize some of my friends from when we traveled back to the 50s. And if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out here. We've got Molly Makes, In the Kitchen with Karen, Jim's Kitch Kitchen, well, look who the cat dragged in. Brit Girls Go Stateside, we're back. We're back. <laughs> Cakes with Lorelei, and Fifth and Overland. Sloppy Joes are the perfect weeknight meal. Nice browned ground meat with a beautiful, sweet, sticky tomato sauce on a beautiful burger bun. I'm going to show you the stovetop method today, but you can pop all of the ingredients into your slow cooker and just let it go all day long. They'll be ready for dinner when you get home from work. And the filling is easily reheated in the microwave. Microwave cookery. So let's get started. See the description below for a list of ingredients. You'll want to use a pan with a lot of surface area for this recipe. I've got it turned on to high heat and now I'm putting in about a pound of ground meat. We want to press that meat down as flat as we can to make sure we have a really good surface area. That way we can get a lot of browning and get those nice crunchy bits in our meat. You can tell from that bubbling that it's already starting to brown really nicely. We want to cook this about 50 to 75% before breaking it up. And here's my tip for getting perfect little bite-sized pieces of meat. When you break it up, use a potato masher. And once you see that browning start to come through the meat, just give it a good mash and get it broken up into those little pieces. See those crunchy brown bits? That's all flavor. If your meat has released a lot of fat or you're trying to watch those calories, you can drain off some of that fat now before we add in our onions. In goes half of a large onion, chopped. Now that the onions are softened, we're going to add in a tablespoon of unsalted butter and one finely chopped clove of garlic. This here is called fond and it's full of flavor. So get yourself some sort of wooden cooking implement and just try and scrape it up off the bottom. Once we add that sauce in there, it'll come up easier, but you really wanna make sure this gets mixed in. In go two tablespoons of brown sugar. I like to use dark brown sugar because it adds so much more flavor. Three quarter cups of a good quality ketchup. Two teaspoons of yellow mustard. And just a splash of Worcester sauce. And give that a good mix. Now for the seasoning, half a teaspoon of salt and just a little crack of black pepper, about a quarter teaspoon. Give that a good stir and let that sauce reduce until it's nice and thick and sticky. I'm using good quality brioche buns here and to make sure that our sauce doesn't seep through and make them soggy, I like to toast them up. So I've generously buttered each side of my bun and they're going to go right down into my pan. Squeeze them in. And get those nice and toasty. Now that our mix is all sticky and jammy, it's ready to build our sandwiches. Pile on a nice, generous amount of our filling. And what 80s delight would be complete without a slice of American cheese? They're sweet with that beautiful caramelized meat flavor and the cheese in there. Oh, this is worth the trip back in time. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this video, and comment down below with your favorite 80s dish. See you next time.